people. Um, you have two parallel scandals here. You have a very real national security scandal. And as you just pointed out, uh, anybody who thinks it's a small thing to have five different foreign governments uh, now knowing a whole range of American secrets, uh, this is really very dangerous to individuals who may get killed. Uh, it's very dangerous to our programs, which may get blocked or undermined. Uh, so the national security side is very real. And then second, uh, we're finally beginning to see come into, into focus the depth of corruption uh, that is in the Clinton Foundation. And, and by the way, which I believe is a big part of why they had, uh, had the these, these secret server. I think from day one, Hillary and Bill Clinton knew they were going to exploit the Secretary of State's office to get millions and millions of dollars, and they were trying to hide it. So in a very real sense, it's the corruption of the foundation which is driving the email server which right. sets up the national security violation. There appears to be a war between the Department of Justice that did not want this to go public and the FBI rank and file. Clearly they've had enough and they felt this information was pertinent enough to get into the hands of the American people. By the way, I think they will go down in history as the heroes when this book is written and this chapter is finished. But the other big discovery, an avalanche of evidence. I'm, I'm using the exact quotes here. A lot of it, uh, as it relates to the Clinton Foundation, and barring anything that might get in the way of this, that these agents are going to push to get an indictment, is what they told Brett Baer. They're going to push for that. Look, look, the Justice Department bureaucrats and political appointees have donated to Hillary Clinton 36 times more than to Donald Trump. Now, if you have all those donors sitting in the middle of this process, you know they're going to be protecting Hillary. I think there should be a very serious question whether every person who donated to Hillary shouldn't be required to step down in the Justice Department because we now have such a clear scandal involving corruption, illegality, national security, that there's somebody who is already pro-Hillary supposedly rendering justice uh, is an absurdity. Yeah, but you know, now we have to add another question. How do we trust the Justice Department that has John Podesta's best friend there leaking him information? As WikiLeaks revealed, and we now know through the correspondence tipping them off, we had already learned through WikiLeaks that there was collusion not only with the liberal media that's probably not doing this tonight, but collusion with the Justice Department. They were tipping off the campaign of Hillary Clinton. The State Department was tipping off Hillary Clinton. And collusion with the Obama White House, because when he was caught in the lie of saying, oh, I learned about this private email server from the, from the press, well, that was a lie because he was emailing her on that server. And it didn't say state.gov. But what you have is the government establishment trying to get their candidate their hand-picked candidate to the presidency to enable them to keep control. I mean, th this is very clear that this is a collusion on a grand scale between the official government and the campaign. Well, how do we get it away from maximizing? How do we get it away from you know this this pal of uh, of John Podesta? How do we get these people the hell out of the way? Well, I, I think it's very clear. And if you go back and look at the uh, the Watergate precedents, uh, I think it's very clear that Lynch has to recuse herself. Uh, and by the way, Andy McCarthy's made the point, a former prosecutor of the 1993 World Trade Center bombings, he's made the point that the Manhattan office in charge of the corruption scandal for the uh, Clinton Foundation was overwhelmingly populated by people Loretta Lynch hired when she was the U.S. attorney in that office. So you get Bill yeah. Clinton made her an important person, Bill, you know, she's very close to the Clintons, so close, she'd meet in secret with Bill Clinton just before the FBI interviewed his wife. This whole thing stinks, and I think if they were going to try to establish a sense of decency, she would recuse herself and bring in an outsider yeah, okay. of impeccable this, credentials. The same lady that hung out with Bill in the plane on the tarmac for 40 minutes uh, just before they were rendering a decision. All right, um, I don't, I think we are going to, this story will be written that the heroes are FBI special agents that knew that the law was broken and they stood up for the law and stood up against against the powerful justice department protecting her. Last question, and I only have 10 seconds. How does this impact the election? 
Well, it drowned so. What's that? That was I had drowned so. You wanted a ten second answer? It drowned so. She is drowning. She is drowning as this stuff keeps coming it in every single day. She got elected. This country's paralyzed. What happens? Well, if she, had, if she gets elected, she gets indicted. Exactly what happened to Richard Nixon who lasted 18 months after carrying 49 states. She ain't going to carry 49 states. I think she's not going to be elected. But the specter has to be there for every voter. If she wins, we are in for a very long embattled presidency and, and, with and criminal this will, indictments. This, this country will be paralyzed. This is very. This would not be good for this country. It'll be a constitutional crisis. Thank you, sir. Up next, more reaction.